Page channel. This is the first video of a brand new playlist on my channel and this is going to be dedicated to recovery. lot in my videos about the narcissist and the behaviours and parental alienation and that was all part of my recovery as much as it was trying to help you. I had to understand and in my understanding I then wanted to share that with you to give you a greater understanding and I researched the backside out of it. I read everything that I could because one, I wanted to know that, I, that made me that was part of my own recovery process, understanding, and I really need to understand things. That's just a part of my character that I have a, a really, it's really strong thirst for understanding why people behave the way they do. That's why I became a social worker. Um, but secondly, it was because I wanted to know as much as possible so I could inform you as much as possible and help others going through this horrendous process. And I feel like I've done that. I'm not saying I'm not going to make any more of those videos because I'm going to have days where I relapse and I'm angry and I feel that I need to get it out. Um, and in those days, I'll do a video when I've come out of that black mist um, to help you. And I, I haven't shared that before, but... What I share in my videos is what I'm going through at that moment in time. Not necessarily there and then, it's something I've worked through, but it, it's been my journey. And I'm now at a better place. I'm now at a place where I'm happy every single day. I don't need to keep going into the darkness. I want to move out and stay here. I want to stay in the light. I want to go back to my unicorn and rainbow land that I lived in previously. And... So that's what this next stage is about. And so I'm going to share a little bit more about my journey and how I got here. So I've talked about the understanding part, the educating myself part, the letting go of any personal guilt or shame that I felt associated with that. And for me, I had to go through something else that was equally as emotionally draining for me to uh, for me to really deal with those emotions as well because I literally got full of bad emotion and it had to come out somewhere. I'd been plodding along and I'd been doing the videos and I thought I was doing okay, and then my dad got really ill, and you faced with that. I couldn't run from it. I couldn't hide from it. I had to deal with it. It was every single day you were faced with the unknown, and it was scary and terrifying and upsetting but I couldn't run from it so it's a really good thing I really in a perverse way it's one of the best things that ever happened to us in the family but me in particular because I was forced to face those emotions that I buried all that all that anger all that sadness I had to deal with it because I wanted to be there for my dad and I couldn't be there for my dad while I was carrying around all these other emotions that I didn't need to do anymore. I didn't need to carry them. I had more important things. And so part of my, that next phase was for me to let go of them so I could then be better and be able to help my dad better. And now I want to help you better. That's part of the, the next part of that process. But what happened with my dad, we had days where we were told he wasn't going to make it through the night and you, they're your worst fears, you, you love them and you and you want to do everything you can but you're helpless and like I said I was drowning in those emotions and I one day I just suddenly thought this is not helping, I'm not helping my dad, I'm not helping my family, I'm certainly not helping myself, what can I change and so I did again a lot of research around spirituality, self-healing, healing others and it led me on this amazing path 
that I will share with you. That's what this playlist is going to be about. I, mean, I will share what I've been doing. I will help you get to the same point I am. But I want to share one story for the end of this video that I hope will inspire you to keep watching because it shows you the power that we have as individuals. So, as part of my dad being really poorly, I did a lot of work around how can I help? How can I heal him? And one of the things I did was a meditation around healing others. And part of that process was to imagine like a guardian watching over my dad. And you could imagine them however you wanted, whatever format you wanted. And, and my, my ex, who isn't a narcissist, he, we always, he was my Spartan. And I asked for a Spartan. I asked for a Spartan to watch over my dad. Because it meant something to me, it was, it was him, there was an emotional connection to that, so I asked for a Spartan to watch over him. And I think about a few weeks, maybe a month later, they found out my dad had, um, he'd had a fall and he apparently um, hurt one of his vertebrae in his back and they didn't want him moving, but they were going to get him a brace. A back brace. I thought a back brace was like one of those girdle things that you wrapped around to keep you supported in that area. I had no idea what they looked like whatsoever. And like I said, I thought they looked like quite a corsety thing. So about, oh, maybe a month later, a month after I'd been doing this, this work, the back brace arrived. I'm gonna show you it. I'm gonna tell you and see what you think. To me, that is a Spartan, that's a Spartan best. And for me, that was the proof that I needed, that I had all the power within me that I needed to change my life. I really hope that you found that inspiring. It brings a tear to my eye every time I look at it, every time I see it, it's in my living room, so I'm reminded every single day of how powerful a human being I am and you can be. And that's the journey that I want to take you on. So I look forward to watching this. Please do share any comments below if you've had any similar experiences. Do drop a comment. And I really am very excited about where we're going to take you on this journey. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.